Hi everyone, it's Noelle with Noelle Rollins Art. So it's been a while since I have posted um, videos like this about how to run a business as an artist. It's been about eight years, honestly. Um, but I wanted to take some time. I'm gonna bulk um, film a bunch of videos here so I can um, have some some good ones to share with you over the next few months. And um, I'm gonna have a whole video about that also, how I get a lot of things done and bulking is one of them. You may hear my um, dog chewing a bone in the background, so my apologies. Um, all right, so this video is gonna be, so I've been an artist for 25 years and through that time, any of you that are creatives know you find new materials that you wanna try out and use and it's gonna be how you can make money while you're learning a new um, skill or new how to work with a new material. So in my case, I worked with acrylics and even a little watercolors. I had done some pencil sketches, geez, back in like my teens and early 20s. Um, somewhere around the, I think it was the summer of 2019, I f just had this gut feeling like I wanted to try colored pencils. And so I bought the best that I could afford, uh, which was like a Coran Dash Luminance. I think it's called Luminance set. Um, it was quite an investment, a few hundred dollars. And I bought some good paper and tried to do some research about it, what I would need, what I could. Um, I wanted to just get super realistic with my creating and try something new. I was feeling a little burnt out and a little just running through. Um, selling prints and orders and I needed something new and exciting again. So I'm so glad that I tried it. Now, how did I make money with it? Um, I wanna show you the first colored pencil drawing I did. Um, so this is my sweet grandma, she's 100 years old. Um, she's, she's alive and she's well and she's um, just so sweet. Was in the army and a nurse and like a school teacher, just amazing. Um, but what I did was I filmed myself doing this drawing. I said, hey, I'm trying um, a new medium. I'm gonna try color pencils. And I started filming myself doing these drawings. And I started sharing that. And I got really good feedback from this one. And as you can see, it's not super detailed, um, but it did require me to experiment with how the, the pencils work, how they blend. I'm gonna have to try a few things. Um, do I wanna do backgrounds on all my one, you know, drawings or not? And then I um, kept kept learning. I did a couple more. Um, one of the ones later that summer I did was of my husband. And so this one was much more challenging and I'm gonna to try to zoom in here, but as you can see, this one has a lot of beard whiskers and um, pores and his nose and I got to just have so much fun like his fabulous mainly eyebrows and um things like that so again learning like I didn't know how to keep this cleaned up and then I sprayed it before um it was ready but overall I was super pleased with it and how it turned out after that what I started doing was hey you guys I put a few um posts out in my newsletter in, um, I think maybe even a blog post. I am gonna be taking commissions. I'm learning this new craft or this new skill of colored pencils. Do you wanna be a part of it? I'm only charging $99 and it was for like a five by seven size. Um, let me know, I do pets, I do people. I'm learning here, so I was very clear about that. Um, but I so appreciate um, just getting things to work on during this time. And I was just very honest. And that was something kind of new for me, if I'm being honest, of sharing that vulnerability part, because typically I'd want to have all my ducks in a row and then present something to the world. And this time I just had to kind of share the journey. Um, later on that year, um, I did Dr. Bailey from Grey's Anatomy. And these, so another side note, these are from copyrighted photos that I found online. So I don't sell them. I just did them for practice. Um, one tip that I had then was to do a few really recognizable faces. 
ones that people will start to know because it's one thing if I do my own dog or my own husband you don't know what he looks like so you have no idea but even a Dr. Bailey starts um Chandra Wilson her real name is starts to be recognizable um and then I did it was right when Mr. Rogers movies were kind of coming out and stuff so I did this one of him and this one was really fun because let me see if I can get in there that was an incredible amount of detail to sit and work on um, I got to practice on scraping off the colored pencils, working with thinners and um, blending and a little whiskers. And so I started to just develop more and more people knowing that I did this work. Um, and then I just continue practicing. I, I, this is my son's eye, just experimenting and I share progress photos. So I encourage you to share progress photos, share what you're learning because people don't know they have no idea a that colored pencils could even do this you picture colored pencils your eight pack when you're a kid and that's all that you know right and so I wanted to just share that because knowledge typically leads to people wanting more information or now they feel like they're a part of my colored pencil journey which I love and I want them to feel that because they are um, I did a video here on YouTube about how to draw an eyeball and how to start making it more realistic. And so that was something on YouTube I could include about that. Um, it's very large, so I got, you know, got me a chance to get a little bit more in depth with it. Um, and then later, eventually I did a self-portrait that now I use as my um, photo for all of my websites and uh, everything, so. There it is. And I got to have fun with it. I mean, let's be honest, adding a little color to the hair. I got to like do a fun little eye makeup with it. Like it was so much fun. And I got to just experiment freely because it's new. I'm learning and I got to share that with people. So now one of the most um, requested things that I get is commissions for pet portraits. I do a lot of remembrance portraits for pets, which is um, halfway through the one there behind me. And um, couples, I've done some from weddings of a couple dancing. Um, I did this one recently of our dog, the one here chewing, probably something very similar, laying in the same position. Um, just kind of having fun experimenting with it. So whatever it is, if it's you taking up sewing and you've always been a painter or you're taking up painting and you've always been a singer, share that along the way. People want to, A, know you don't have all of your crap together all the time. I mean, it humanizes you. And especially if you are super talented or you've been working in something a long time, it can just be taken for granted that you know how to create. And so it sets you back on like step one and it's a true thing to where you can take people with you and help them realize like they can try new things. And I always think of like one of our gifts as creators in the world is we get to inspire people. We get to, we're still here, we're still breathing. We get to still try new things. We get to have fun in life. We get to find inspiration from random things. My dog chewing up a tennis ball ripping it to shreds and I got to take that moment and capture it. Like this is his personality. He's so sweet and cute, but he is like always destroying things. And I got to capture that. So that's what my advice would be. If you are beginning something new, if you're sewing, start taking photos of you doing your sewing, the patterns, and be sharing that. If you're on social media, share it. Share daily if you can, or even Sometimes what I will do is I'll work on a drawing and I will take photos throughout the process and then I spread those photos out all like a week or two later. So I don't have to draw every week. If I don't have time, sometimes I'm working on other things. Same thing with sewing. You could take 50 photos of the same sewing project that are of different angles, unique things and talking about it and just spread those out and share them. It gives you, um, you know, assuming it's not the most boring part of your project. People love seeing progress. They love seeing things that are outside of their norm. They're sitting in an office or a cubicle and they're um, doing the same thing day after day. It's so fun to just have something that they get to watch of somebody who is at 11 a.m. possibly sitting here drawing and making life happen how they want to on their terms and just enjoying it 
And especially, I mean, let's be honest right now, we could all use that inspiration in all forms. So starting something new, don't be afraid to say you're new at it. Just be really open, share that. And it also is a really great um, like perspective for us too. After we've done something for so long and we take it for granted, the there's a new energy that comes from beginning something again and having to relearn and practice and just wanting to get better at our craft. So share, keep practicing, mark something for a sale along the way. You could put pieces of something. Um, you could, um, yeah, I don't know. Just think of commissions you could do for it. Sell the originals at a little bit cheaper than you would later on down the road. Be really honest that they're ones that you're working on. Put them on your website. Have someone just message you. Keep it super simple. Hey, are you interested in this? Mark sold in the comments. There's no reason to be super technical and um, like high maintenance kind of about it. Just Just have fun with it. Allow yourself the gift of having fun with a new idea. All right, I appreciate you watching this video. I'm gonna do a whole series here of all sorts of behind the scenes of running an art, like art business or creative business here. Um, so subscribe, I'm really working towards reaching a thousand subscribers. I have some big plans in the next year of expanding and changing the way I do some things and I'd love for you to be a part of that. And um, if you have any other ideas or things that I may have missed, leave them in the comments. What's a way that you've shared as you've started something new? Or have you seen someone make money doing something um, that they're not yet an expert at, that they're learning? Let us know. All right. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Bye.